Welcome to the NALSA Practice Vignettes for ARE 4.0. In this tutorial, I'll describe the practice vignettes and how they work. First, let me describe what they are. The practice vignettes are documents to be printed out through your account at NALSA.com. They contain a modified version of the practice problem that comes with the NCARB software. We've changed some of the key programmatic elements to create a different problem, and this allows you to solve a new problem while practicing with the software you'll be using on test day. The first part of the document contains directions for using the practice vignettes and instructions for submitting your solution to NASA Publishing for grading. This is followed by the table of contents and an introduction to the division itself, including information on which vignettes are to be solved and the time constraints for completing a solution. Next, you're presented with the problems to each of the vignettes in the division, in this case, the site grading vignette and the site design vignette. Here's how they work. These practice vignettes are to be solved using the NCARB software. Simply open the NCARB software, ignore their problem, and solve the problem in the NALSA document. While the NALSA problem is solved using the NCARB tools and base drawing, the problem itself is very different. Remember, even a small change in the program can result in a very different solution. So just like on your exam, be sure to read the problem very carefully. Now you may be asking yourself, why can't I just modify the NCARB problem myself and make up my own problem? The short answer is, you can. But while creating your own problems is helpful for practicing the software, it's a bit like asking yourself a trivia question. If you know the answer, there's really no challenge. And if you don't know the answer, it's not helpful. This is why we include sample passing and sample failing solutions to each of the NALSA problems. While your solutions won't be the same as the NALSA solutions, you can see how we have addressed the requirements of the problems both successfully and unsuccessfully. We've annotated each of the solutions to highlight key issues and clarify the program requirements. If you would like to know just how successful you were in solving the problem, instructions for uploading your solution to NASA Publishing for an ARE evaluation are on the first page. If you have any questions about the practice vignettes, ARE evaluations, or anything else, just call or email us anytime at support at nalsa.com. Thanks for watching. While the test is presented in two dimensions using plans and sections, you must be able to think three-dimensionally to solve any of the vignettes. Successfully addressing program issues like benchmark elevation, slope, and building envelope requires the ability to solve problems in three-dimensional space. This is why we've developed several three-dimensional views of the error-free solution. By exploring the 3D images, the two-dimensional solution becomes less abstract and you can see the result of your design decisions in a more realistic way.